what's up guys take me to here today today i want to compare these phones uh these are budget phones the poco m3 and the umid g a9 pro um initially i was thinking the poco will do better than the umid g a9 pro but i tried to take picture with both devices then i compare side by side and i was like no uh, i think uh, they're gonna challenge one another so that's why i'm doing this comparison they both support 14 megapixel camera sensor and it's made by sony for both of them um the umid g has four camera sensors why the poco has three camera sensors so the macro shot for both devices is rubbish i don't like the macro shot you know the color reproduction is not very good but let's compare the phone side by side when it comes to camera department so what i'm going to be doing i'm going to be doing a blind test for both devices yes blind test so if you have the poco if you have the umid g you will not be biased the moment you start watching the video so it's gonna be it's gonna be a blind test and at the end of the video then i'm gonna tell you which one is which so guys let's jump straight into the comparison now all right guys um this is the comparison of the video footage side by side please bear in mind none of these phones support optical image stabilization so i expect the footage to be terrible shaking you know so if you want to pan around, let's just pan around. The weather is so terrible and it's just like when I started filming, then it started to rain. But that's not going to put me off. I'm still going to do what I come here to do. So panning around, uh, if you ask me which one do I prefer, I think I kind of prefer the one on the A. That's from A. From B, it's better to, or it's a little B. I don't know. It's not very sharp as from A. It's not as sharp as from A. So, like I did mention earlier, none of these phones support optical image stabilization, which means I won't be filming for long, you know. I will only make a very short video just to test the audio, you know. And it's windy, so this is going to be a good test. I want to see how they both interact with wind, you know, if you're filming in a windy environment, how they both capture wind. Are they going to denoise it or are they going to add it to the video? I've not done this before on both devices, so. I'm here to see the results. Anyway, let's move forward. Let's kind of walk. Please bear in mind none of this phone have optical image stabilization or electronic image stabilization. So I believe they're going to be very shaky. So let's just move. Let's walk for a little bit faster and slow. Um. Okay, come closer to a flower now. Let's see. Let's come close. Hmm. A tricky one here um if you ask me which one do i prefer i uh, will go with phone a yes because the green is richer but they're, they're just a tiny bit better than one another you know just focus on this pink mm, you can see that phone a is doing better phone b kind of overexposed mm. So guys, I'm going to be stopping here um, because this one has no optical image stabilization. So there's no point, you know, spending too much time just filming a shaky footage. None of them have optical image stabilization. So guys, let's jump into pictures taken on both devices now.
so after watching the video you should agree with me that um <laughs> i don't know which one i'm gonna choose but i think they both did great one is better than another for night mode and one is better than another for day light mode you know so which one is your choice which one do you think is better let me know in the comment section below thank you guys for watching my video as usual and i will see you when i make a new video bye god bless please stay safe